Okay, so Delphinus TMC started about three and a half years ago as a company and preceding that was Delphinus Sport and I've worked in sport for 20 plus years. The journey through to culminate in what I do now is um, that what we do is we work with clients to enhance their performance, enable them to be their best at any one time and we do that through working with their emotional intelligence, uh, emotional resilience and their ability to manage and change their behaviour as they need to. Um, we deliver that through training, mentoring and coaching, which is the TMC, which seems to flummox everybody what the TMC is. Um, and typically, we work with people over a period of time to enable that change and that process to bed into their day-to-day -day living and their day-to-day -day professional life. I also am a psychotherapist, so I run a psychotherapy clinic within the company. Um, and that is referral based and private clients. And then we also are attached and work with a homeless charity in Loughborough, so we're quite busy. I think our passion is to enable people to be at their best, and if they're not at their best, that's okay, and to allow them to choose whether they want to be at their best in that moment and how they get there. Um, most of our work is relational. Um, I work with clients all over the UK and have, typically with coaching clients, the minimum I'm with them is six months. So, but some of my clients have been with me some two years. Um, and that's because it's ongoing, it's about self-leadership, it's about them developing and me staying alongside them and to support them. But typically we work at senior manager, director and business owner level, chief exec level. Um, our experience of working within sort of teams and team leader level hasn't been positive for our style. Um, so we work at that level and really it's people that want to enhance their performance, want to learn a little bit more about this self-leadership. So. Most people are leaders and have a notion of how they want to be a leader, but then maybe in practice are a little bit like, oh, I'm not quite sure how that translates. So running a business, running a team, enabling them to be um, effective in that and to know themselves well enough to be able to impact on others. So in terms of hierarchical sort of structure, we would work senior managers and above. With our training, the package that we would prefer to deliver is that we can go away and huddle into a fantastic hotel for two days and train people. Sounds lovely. Perfect. The reality is the learning and the impact of that comes afterwards. So often we will work with companies to do the training but then stay with them maybe for a year and put in some sort of coaching support that meets their need to enable the training to be put into practice. We do a lot of speaking, so I do a lot of motivational, positive psychology. Uh, openers for conferences, closes for conferences, energizers in the middle of a conference when everyone's had lunch oh, and they're yeah, dead too. Absolutely. Yes, I'd meet you face to face um, because it's about the relationship between if it's me as the coach and you as the coachee, it's our relationship and that's important and that's what it's based. So the first step is to meet and make sure we suit each other. Um, and then typically I probably want to see you two or three times face to face, no longer than an hour, always about an hour session. Um, it can be done on Skype and it can be done on FaceTime and all the fantastic um, modern technology that's there. So I would work face to face in the first instance to make sure we're set up and then if geography was a challenge or there was a need to move into some sort of remote coaching that can happen. Um, so to meet us, make sure we're the right people for you. If we're not, and that cuts both ways, we, I might not be the right person for you and vice versa. I would typically try and refer on and ensure that the support's there. And what we do there is we would look at what the company is wanting to achieve, what the outcomes are, so we have a lot of meetings to make sure that's very, very clear. And then we come in with a framework of coaching and we work with people's behaviours, we work on how people impact on others, we can work with communication and break that down, we can work with motivation, we can work with relationships, so the component parts, if you like, of how a company functions not the skill set of that company, but how the people interact and to maximise them. So yeah, so that, I think what we do is we work with the transition to get to the outcome of the change. And we can handhold and support the individuals or teams. And we do group coaching as well. If we're talking about some real behavioural stuff, the smaller the group, the more impact and the better outcome. We have more trainers than just Simois, so I've got a team of trainers that come in with me, so we typically work on a 1 to 10 ratio. And the group coaching 1 to 6, probably. And that's quite nice, because what that brings to a company is they start to embrace a coaching culture because they then peer, and they buddy, and they support each other away from the formal 
a group coaching session. So there's lots of ways and we're not a company that parachutes in, we're a company that works alongside and then discreetly pulls away and goes, brilliant, you've hit your outcome, keep us posted on how you go. Because that to us is our what we are flourish, you know, if people are flourishing and being brilliant then that's perfect. So um, we have had some major results where we've done some uh, training programs where people have booked on and we've done a series and typically maybe over six months we've done three or four contact points of three and a, three three and a half hours um, with people and the transition we've had with some people on there has been well it has actually been life-changing if I'm honest which makes my heart jump and that's not our aim but if that's how people take it and fair play they take the opportunity that's perfect but it's all for me the core of it is we're on the planet once, it would be great to be able to be our best when we want to be and allow ourselves to just live as we want to choose to live. So that's really what drives the work that we do. My preference would be they give me a call, as you might be able to tell. It's about conversation, it's about people for me. Everyone has different styles, so our website, they can go onto the website, um, they can email me directly, very happy to respond to emails. The one thing I would suggest, and I do say a lot to people, is let's just have a conversation face to face because of the nature of what we do and what people want. So capture it in an email if that's your preferred option, I'll get back to you and we'll take it from there. So email, through the website, um, there's a contacts page or um, my phone numbers are all on the website as well, so I look forward to hearing from everybody. Brilliant.